The third type of prayer, and I'll go ahead and tell you, this is my favorite type of prayer. It's called breath prayers. Breath prayers. And uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. You use your breath and you say them under your breath. They're quiet, they're still, and they're quick. And they only take just a couple of seconds each. The Bible and our scripture is open to it this morning in 1 Thessalonians tells us to be in constant communion with God, to pray ceasingly. You think to yourself, well, I got a busy schedule. I got a lot of people to talk to. I got a lot of things to do. How could I possibly pray without ceasing? Well, that's where breath prayers come in. Martin Luther, who was the one who started the Protestant Reformation over 500 years ago, the one who nailed up the 95 theses on the Catholic Church door and said, this is what y'all are doing wrong. That guy, he's the one who got, came up with this idea of breath prayers. And he was so busy, he was evangelizing and preaching and teaching and serving in the community, they would say, Martin Luther, you are so busy. How do you have time to prayer? And his answer is uh, written down all over the place. He says, friends, I am far too busy to not pray for four hours a day. You think to yourself, well, how, if you're that busy, can you pray for four hours a day? And he explained that all that I say is a prayer to God. I'm constantly in communication with God, and that's what these breath prayers are. And so I've written down six that I find myself saying often, and we're going to practice them. I'm going to say them out loud. I want you to get into a comfortable position in your chair, whether that's legs crossed, feet on the floor, hands folded, eyes closed, whatever your prayer posture is. I'm going to say these phrases, and I want you to repeat them quietly under your breath, but out loud. Don't just think them. Practice saying them out loud under your breath. So we begin with a deep breath in and breathe out and repeat after me. I need you, God. Help me, God. I love you, God. Thank you, God. Jesus, I trust you. Holy Spirit, I will follow you. Let's take a deep breath in. And breathe out, and we'll say them again. I need you, God. Help me, God. I love you, God. Thank you, God. I trust you, Jesus. I will follow you, God. You see, these breath prayers are quick ways for us to be in communication with God all day long. Whether you're sitting at a stoplight or you're walking down the hallway to your next meeting or uh, you're walking from one room of the house to your next to begin your next activity, before you pick up the phone, I'd encourage you to just say a quick breath prayer. The most popular one I say is, God help me. I say it all day. Because without God, we're nothing. We're wandering around if we're not centering our lives on God, and the breath prayers allow us to do just that. Another way to think about it, I was told this, gosh, when I was in youth group years and years ago, a youth worker said, Robert, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you should say is, hello, God, like you're starting a phone call, and go all day long, all day long, with all the conversations you say, all the text messages you send, all the things you do, and let the very last thing you say at night be, goodbye, God, like you're hanging up the phone. They said, let everything you say all day long glorify God and be a prayer to him. And you're always talking to God. Maybe that's helpful for you. It's stuck with me all these years. 